Hello, my friends. I continue to make small lessons about making stitches, and we will take new stitches from our first crochet magazine, JT House, issue one. Let's see, at the back side we have at the last two pages all the symbols, and today we will talk about two stitches, half double crochet and half double crochet work in a back loop only. You have here, yes, two symbols, you will see them in my schemes, so you will know how to do this after you will see this lesson. And uh, we will work, first of all, with big crochet hook and, uh, yes, such thread, just to show you better everything, and after also I will repeat the same by using my favorite threads. It's Italian and viscose and I will use my favorite steel, small steel hook. So let's start. My name is Julia Tushnitska. I am founder of JT House Crochet School. I have created several crochet courses about making tablecloths, topolina, dress dream, about beautiful skirt Quincy, about cocktail dress Martinica and dress Lille, also about dress Beverly with long sleeves, about evening dress Amelie and Angelica, and even created crochet cards about Cod Spring. All of these crochet cards you will find at jtyhouse.net. So first we will talk about half double, double crochet and this stitch I will show you now on this example. I prepared first row and uh, now I can start to make this stitch. When I start, uh, I, we can say a new row, I made one chain loop to move up. Now I will work uh, just like this. First you need to make a yarn over one time, insert hook to the direct point below these two threads in previous row, like this, after yarn over, like this, and draw this thread and create one, yes, one more loop. Now I have three loops on my hook, after this go and take yarn over, turn the hook and draw this thread through everything in one time. So once again, we start from one time yarn over, insert hook this time below two threads because I'm working with previous row and yarn over, make a loop like this. Now you have three loops on your hook, yes, yarn over Turn the hook, yes, we take thread and draw through everything, like this. Once again, we start from one time yarn over, insert hook to the previous stage, yes, to the previous row, yarn over and draw thread, make a loop. You should have three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through everything, and you will have half double crochet. Now I will do a few stitches more just to show you more quickly how you can do these stitches. So one time yarn over, make a loop, you should have three loops and next just draw thread through everything. In this way you will get half double crochet stitches. Such stitches I am using almost all the time for my, especially for my elements, yes. So you will find this stitch in my journal, in each motif, I think. But this time you will know how to make such stitches. So uh, we just saw how to create such half double crochet, yes. And uh, now I will show you the same by using my favorite. Italian viscose, and for this I will use a very bright thread, this one, it's color number 406, very nice color, so let's start. Uh, now we can start, it's a really a very beautiful color, I prepared first row, and uh, now we can start, yes, uh, I will make for just to start this row, two chain loops to move up. Uh, we will start from the second stage like it should be, and the first uh, yarn over, insert hook to the to the stitch of previous row below two threads, yarn over, make a loop. Now I have three loops on my hook, yarn over, and draw through everything. Again, one time yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch below two threads, yarn over, make a loop, you should have three loops on your hook, like this, yarn over and draw through this 
three loops. Once again, start from yarn over, insert hook to the next stitch below two threads, yarn over, make a loop. I have three loops now on my hook, yarn over and turn your hook like this and draw through the three loops, yes, working thread. Once again, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, draw thread like this and make a loop, yarn over and create the stitch. Okay. Once again, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, make a loop, yarn over and draw through everything yeah, like this. I will make few more stitches just to finish this row, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over and draw thread through three loops on your hook and two stitches more I will do like this. And uh, we have such result, yes, we have such stitches. So we learned how to make half double crochet and now I will uh, show you second stitch, almost, yes, the same. Uh, let's see the symbol. It's half double crochet work in back loop only and we have such symbol with such arched yes line let's talk about the stitch i will start again from yes this big crochet hook to show you everything better and uh, we have such first row yes like you know at previous stitches we have at the top we can see two loops uh, two threads yes uh, this is front loop let's see this is front loop, yes, and this is back loop. And uh, we will work only with back loop now for these stitches. So I will make this time two loops to move up. We will start from the second stitch. So let's do the same, the same stitch, but we need to insert hook in another way. So yarn one, uh, one time yarn over, insert hook just around only one this back loop like this we will not take like in previous stage two loops we will have only back loop and insert hook below yes only below this back loop yarn over draw thread make a loop again we have three loops on the hook yarn over and draw threads for everything let's do again one time yarn over insert hook only around this back loop in previous stitches yes yarn over, draw thread only through this one loop and now three loops on the hook, join them just draw thread through everything by one time like this once again, yarn over, insert hook only around this back loop yarn over, make a loop once again, make a loop now yarn over and draw through everything, yes, like this. One time yarn over, insert hook only around this back loop in previous stitches and draw thread, make a loop. Yarn over and draw through these three loops on your hook and you will get half double crochet working uh, just on the back loop only. Yes, once again, yarn over, insert hook around this one thread, make a loop, and next draw thread through three loops on your hook. And like this, I will make few times more just to finish this row, yes. Yes, and now we have such result. Uh, we have this all loops at the front, yes, looking like this. And uh, such design is really great. When you're making, um, for example, Irish lace motifs, you will have such beautiful lines. For example, I have such, uh, yes, such parts, such uh, stitches in my elements in First Crochet Magazine. And uh, we have leaves with such lines and they look really pretty. So very, um, yes, 
in a lot of elements, in many elements, you will find such stitches because they make a really interesting design of motifs, especially for Irish lace. Yes, uh, you will find a lot of such such variants. Working uh, with back loop only really helps to create fantastic lines, designs, increase some parts of motifs. That's why you will find them in many elements. So now let's uh, do the same with very thin thread and by using small hook. I will take this time very nice this color. I prepare it beginning first row. It's really incredibly beautiful color also. And uh, now we can start to do the same just half double crochet working uh, on back loop only. So I will make two chain loops to move up. We will start from the second stage, yes. You can see again we have two loops at the top of the stitch. We will work only with the back loop, this one, with this one we will work. We will not touch this front loop. So let's start one time yarn over. Insert hook only around this yes, loop at the back side. Yarn over, make a loop. Now I have three loops on my hook like this. Yarn over and draw through everything. Again, one time yarn over, go to the next stitch in previous row, take only one loop and make, yes, like this, one loop. I have three loops on my hook and now yarn over and draw through all these loops. Again, one time yarn over, insert hook only around this back loop, make a loop and after finish to make a stitch. Yes, one time yarn over, insert hook around this back loop, make a loop and yarn over, draw through everything. Once again, yarn over, make a loop, yarn over and draw the thread. Yarn over, make a loop, yarn over and draw through everything. So we are working only with back loops and that is the main. In such way we will get beautiful line in the front side and such, such parts we have in motifs in our first crochet magazine. So now you will know how to do this all stitches and you will get the same uh, beautiful result. And the last stitch, just to finish this row. Okay, now we have this result. You can see, for example, maybe from here, this line that we received. Front loop we didn't touch and we have such really interesting, yes, design, beautiful row. So this was half double crochet working on back loop only. Uh, thank you so much for your attention. If you want, uh, you can order our magazine electronic version or printed version. A link you will find below this video. And uh, I'm sure uh, you will create now beautiful, yes, elements by using my small videos about all stitches that we have in our crochet magazine. Thank you so much for your attention and see you very soon at the new lesson. I am very happy to present you unique crochet magazine from JT House Crochet School. Crochet journal JT House No. 1 includes very detailed colors, step-by-step -step schemes with instructions for them in English. By learning material in the journal, you will create six gorgeous elements for your next crochet project. The graphics are large. Each part of element is in different color. Also on the schemes you will see direction of crocheting. In journal you will find crochet schemes which show how to create six beautiful motifs from first chain loop to the last stitch. Also in magazine JT House you will see step-by-step -step photos of making crochet motifs. During your work you can compare your results with original elements. Now I want to show you this element that we have in the journal Bernice. It's outer motif, big twig with five twigs and very small flowers on it. And we have here beautiful three leaves. For this element I used my favorite Italian viscose. It's very soft and silky. I love to use this thread for blouses and dresses. Information about this thread you can also find in our journal. In the end of this journal we have detailed instructions about symbols that are used for all crochet motifs. 
you will find all necessary information and explanations here. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.